The title of this mini-podcast is Outside the Dream. Have you ever had a dream so real that you thought it was real? I'm sure that's the case for most of us. I had one of those dreams the other night. There were vivid sights, crystal clear sounds, but more than anything else, sensations I could feel. The sense of touch is what made it so real. Got me to wondering, if we can experience those sensations in a dream state, we must also be able to conjure them up in an awake state. What sensations do you desire to feel? Maybe you've convinced yourself that something real has to be in place as a stimulus for you to have that feeling. I'm convinced you can make it up. Seems that's why we got an imagination. This is where I like to quote author Wayne Dyer. Imagination is the force of creation. I just saw a YouTube video from a teacher who teaches singing. She had a novel suggestion for those of us who sing flat. She said, imagine what the note or phrase would sound like before you attempt to sing it. Hmm. I was surprised that I actually sang on key for probably the first time in my life. Now, I'm not contemplating a singing career. I'm just amazed at how seemingly magical imagination is. This is more than daydreaming and flights of fancy. This is a suggestion to use your imagination more often than you do. Here's one of the questions I often ask of someone who professes a self-imposed claim that they can't do something. I ask, what would happen if you could? It gets them to imagine possibilities that can't, can't see. A lot of people set goals, but the missing piece on their vision board is how they would feel if they really got what they were after. Conjure up that feeling in your imagination and attach it to the pictures and sounds of the things you desire. It will fuel your fire. Here's a little experiment I often do to have people experience the results of imagination. Imagine you're in a kitchen and you bring out a cutting board and you put it on the counter. You go to the refrigerator and take out a big plump lemon. You put that bright yellow lemon on the cutting board and pull out a sharp knife. You cut the lemon in half and you see some of that juice dripping onto the cutting board. You pick up one half of the lemon, tilt your head back, and squeeze the juice of that lemon into your mouth and swirl it around a few times. Then swallow it. Did your mouth water? If not, you need to engage your imagination a bit more and find out firsthand that dreams can become realities. All the best, John.